Well, hey there guys, it's Corinna from Sharon Legacy Farms. And in this video, I want to teach you how you can freeze cucumbers. That's right, you can actually freeze cucumbers. And a lot of times people are surprised by that because normally if you just slice these up and put them into a Ziploc bag, um, they won't end up thawing very well. They're gonna be mushy and soft. That's because cucumbers have a lot of water in them. Um, but there is a way that you can freeze them in a sugary brine liquid, kind of almost like a cucumber salad, and it keeps them nice and crisp, and you can freeze them for up to 12 months. So I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. We are in middle, end of August, where the cucumbers are coming out like crazy, and I'm trying to find ways to store them up, because I know I'm gonna miss them in the winter. So you can, first of all, pick out your cucumbers, and pretty much any kind will do. Um, so we've got these green ones like this, we've got the long blonde colored ones that I really love, and then these snack sized ones that are almost like pickling cucumbers, they're called salt and pepper, are also really good choices. So it doesn't really matter, take your pick. Um, the, first of all, you wanna wash them, which I've already done, and you can peel them or not peel them, it's sort of up to you. Uh, I am going to peel a few of these with just like a stripe every now and then, so it kind of makes that sort of pretty contour color. But I'm not going to peel these guys because I won't really even notice. So for me, it's more of a cosmetic thing. So what you wanna do for today's recipes purposes, I'm just gonna do like one batch to kind of show you the recipe, but then you can double or triple it, which you're probably going to want to do because it's really yummy. We're basically making a recipe for two quarts worth of sliced cucumbers. So if you're not sure what a quart is, this is a mason jar, a quart mason jar. Um, I've already started slicing them using this as my measuring tool. Um, so I'm gonna cut the ends off here and continue to cut a few slices. Um, I like to try to make them fairly thin, not super thick. Uh, you can use a mandolin or you can use just a knife like I am. You can mix up the cucumbers. All right, I think that's gonna be enough because I've already pre-sliced a bunch to make this video go faster. All right, so um, you need two quarts of cucumbers and then you're gonna need one onion, one large onion for every two quarts. All right, so we're gonna slice up that onion. I'm choosing a red onion in this case. This is one of those B-grade onions that was a little soft so I cut out the soft spots, and now I'm gonna just slice it up into slices real quick, and we're gonna throw that together. You could also use a sweet onion, you use a yellow onion, shallots, you could use all, any kind. I feel like a lot of the onions are pretty interchangeable. Now, if you're a true feedy, you would disagree with me. Um, all right, so now I've got this really big bowl and so I'm going to dump my onions in there. I made up some other ones earlier. So one large onion, two quarts of cucumbers sliced. And they're, kind of, they're all mixed in here now together. Now, this is also a key step. You want to add in one to two tablespoons of salt, right? This is a key thing. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the chemistry here, but something's happening the salt is a key ingredient. And you wanna like layer it. Um, so you can either kind of sprinkle it as you throw it in. In my case, I'm gonna end up just mixing it all together. So I'm throwing that in and I'm using kosher salt. And I'm just going to mix this up with my hands really good to coat the cucumber slices. All right. Okay, now we have to wait. We have to wait for a while. So what we're gonna do next, after that's nice and coated, is we're gonna take some saran wrap, or in my case, I'm just gonna put a lid on this guy, and you're gonna put this in your refrigerator and you're going to chill it for two hours. And something's going to happen, the salt is gonna do its magic on those cucumbers and those onions, and I'll meet you back in a couple of hours and we'll do the next step. Okay, so my cucumbers are in the refrigerator right now. They're still chilling. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the brine because I like to preheat it so that it can dissolve and then let it cool. So the brine for this recipe is one cup of white distilled vinegar to one and a half cups of sugar. Now I know that sounds like a lot of sugar 
And that's what the basic recipe is. So maybe try that out the first time. And if you feel like it's too sweet, try cutting back on the sugar a little bit and see if it makes a difference. So if you go and look on recipes online, you'll see a lot of people in the comments will kind of say, well, I cut it down to half a cup vinegar and half a cup sugar and it was perfect for me. So this is where you just need to experiment. But I'm gonna teach you the basic recipe the way that I was taught, all right? So um, I'm gonna put in a cup of just basic vinegar. I've already poured that in here. And we're gonna stick that into this pot over here on my stove. And then we need a, one and a half cups of sugar. Throw that in there. I'm not super measuring because like I said, I do find it to be a little bit sweet. All right, and we're gonna stir this up and we're gonna turn on the heat and let it come to a boil because we want that sugar to dissolve and then I'm gonna let it cool. And once that's happened, I'll meet you back here after those two hours have elapsed with our cucumbers and we're gonna put it all together. Okay, we're back. It's been over two hours now and I took out my cucumbers from the refrigerator and it's time to rinse them. We need to run them under some cold water really well and we wanna get that salt that's on those cucumbers and onions, we wanna get that off. So I've got quite a bit of water that's sitting in here now. That's because the salt has sort of pulled that water out of the cucumbers. I'm gonna dump it into my strainer here and I'm gonna start uh, rinsing it. I'll be back in a moment when that's done. Okay, we are back and I am now going to take this sugar vinegar brine and uh, when I look into it right now, I don't see any sugar. It's totally dissolved and it's nice and cool to the touch. And I'm gonna pour this over my cucumbers and onion mix, all right? And then I'm gonna mix it really well with my hands so that it gets coated. And then we're gonna put this into a container and freeze it. So there is going to be liquid in this container that's okay we want that we're not going to strain it out so um, you can either use uh, freezer containers like the plastic freezer containers you could use a uh, ziploc freezer bags you could even try using mason jars and just don't fill them all the way so that when they freeze you don't want those to crack so i'm gonna uh, put them into a ziploc bag like this i'm actually going to use a quart size just because that's probably the portion that I'm gonna want at any given time. Like if we're gonna have this for a meal later on, I'll just pull out an entire quart bag and throw it in to a bowl and that will be what's gonna be on the table for lunch or dinner. So I wanna make sure that you do add some of that liquid brine into the bag. Don't just strain it out and only put the cucumbers in. You do wanna make sure that there is some brine in these bags before you seal them up. Lay it flat. I'm gonna put this in my freezer. And you wanna wait at least a week before you try to eat it because I think the flavors kind of meld. Hey, another bonus thing is you could chop up some dill weed and throw it in here too and mix it in with your bowl and then it gives a little bit of a dill flavor to your cucumber salad. Um, and these guys will be good for like nine, 10 months in your freezer. So I wanna challenge you, give this a try and see if you like the taste. And if you do, it might become a new favorite exit strategy for you with cucumbers this summer. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon, bye.